What follows is a reading of the dramatic story of J.W. Galloway, a soldier of the 24th Infantry, as he remembers his unit charging San Juan Hill during the Spanish-American War. The battery guns above El Cani continued to boom, boom with a human intelligence appealing to the boys, telling them that they had begun the task that would try every inch of their souls to complete. We all had vigorously cheered at the first sound of the cannon that morning, but now we were coming close to the scene of action no one seemed to dare open his mouth. Grime's battery was just ahead, pouring at the enemy its most deadly contents, and the noise it made as we came under it was enough to divide the strong from the weak. We had now come to the real point of action, the place where the man is unable to describe the pulsations of his bosom, to decide whether he is frightened and afraid to do his duty, or possessed a bravery that leads him to either command or grave. With all the excitement and confusion of the day impressing itself upon me, I yet thought of my feelings. I had for two days nursed it, and now had come to stay. It would not be displaced, try hard as I might. The question whether I was a coward and afraid to do my duty haunted me. And was I equal to the occasion? At the command, my bosom swelled, and all that was best in me came rushing forth. I had fought fright and cowardice and had won. An intense feeling of pride came over me, and bullets rained like hail and men fell everywhere. I was no longer afraid that evening up on San Juan Hill. I breathed a silent prayer that I had been a man, and felt that I had done my duty fearlessly.